Hi, I'm Josh Striegel. Today I'm going to share with you my social activism project. I volunteered with Habitat for Humanity, and I'm going to be sharing some of the takeaways that I had from this experience. Here we go. I volunteered with Habitat for Humanity for about two different days for about 16 hours total. Uh, what I did was help build a house actually right here in downtown Grand Rapids, which you can see is right behind me right now. Um, of course, every day when you're working on the house, it's going to be a little bit different depending on what stage the house is at. Uh, for me personally, when I volunteered, um, we had to move and prepare all the different truss pieces needed for building the roof. Um, it was amazing just how much work it took to do this. Uh, some of these trusses weighed hundreds of pounds and took teams of coordinated people to get them where they needed to go. Honestly, it is just amazing how much work it takes to get any semblance of progress done on building a house. I've been considering working with Habitat for Humanity for a little over a year now, and I thought this project was the right push to finally just get out there and do it. Since beginning my college journey last year, I've gained so much humility, and my experience has been truly humbling. Uh, I spent most of my life growing up in the shadow of Grand Rapids, um, always being so close, yet never actually going. I spent most of my time in the suburbs, or in the middle of nowhere, like out in the field here. Spending time in the city, uh, having new experiences, meeting new people, leading my own life, it's all helped me grow. My experience, or my, my view of homelessness was once one of uh, fear and pity, but it is now one of compassion and understanding. I remember the very first audio exploration we listened to in class, uh, NPR's What We Lost When Hotels Stopped Being Housing. Uh, with this in my drastic change in mindset as of late, I knew immediately that I wanted my project to be focused on homelessness. The audio article states how we are short 3.8 million homes in the U.S. Homelessness and poverty are very interconnected, uh, which is why this loss of low-income housing hits so deep. Homelessness and poverty feed off of each other, and Habitat for Humanity helps alleviate these issues. Now, this may be a bit far-fetched, but I believe Habitat for Humanity also helps alleviate inequality in other ways, too. When we listened to the story of Lake Providence, we heard about how these two communities on each side of the lake were completely isolated from each other, and this was a further barrier preventing equality within this community. Habitat for Humanity has a new program where these tentative owners of the new homes must participate in building them for a set amount of hours. Now I believe these incoming families working with the gracious volunteers with Habitat for Humanity really works with wonders for the socialization and the overall reinforcement of the new quality of life that these people are about to receive. It's not just about poverty and homelessness, it's about community socialization and interaction too. And I believe Habitat for Humanity really helps alleviate all these issues all at once. The large insight that I've gained during this project is just how monumental of a task it is to build a house. In my 16 or so hours involved in helping with the build, my experience can be summarized in just four words, moving and preparing trusses. Ultimately, in terms of social problems, I learned firsthand just how huge of a task it is to end homelessness, for lack of a better term. Though it's a bit of a metaphor, my experience still genuinely showed me just how much work has to be put in to make progress eliminating a social issue. It's a team effort. And another insight I gained during this experience is just how impactful and meaningful this volunteer work truly is for those who it helps. 
During our lunch break on my first day volunteering, there was a woman who drove up to the curb next to us and started to have a chat with us, and she was curious with what we were doing. Uh, and after learning that, she, that we were all volunteering with Habitat for Humanity, she was delighted, and she shared that a friend of hers was actually one who was living in housing from Habitat for Humanity. Although this conversation was quite brief and, for me, also a little bit indirect, uh, it remained inspiring, knowing that there's people out there whose lives are being helped and maybe even saved just because of the work that us as the volunteers for Habitat are doing. It's a unique sense of satisfaction that you don't get from any other experience. As I've discussed before, we as a team had to work hard to achieve small steps towards a monumental goal. As the hours dragged on, it was almost disheartening how little progress it felt like we were making. But at the end of the day though, when we could really take a step back and appreciate all that we had done, it felt incredible. We could look at all the progress we had made over these eight hours and say, yeah, we are now this much closer to having a home built. It is thanks to the effort of these volunteers that these homes are being built not for the sake of profit, but for the sake of the well-being of others. If one wishes for a problem uh, like homelessness or poverty, one so expansive, so massive, so widespread, so monumental, if one wishes for a problem like this to be alleviated, one must be willing to put in an equal amount of effort to do so. And that's what we did, volunteering for Habitat. I will most certainly work with Habitat for Humanity again sometime in the future. Uh, first of all, there's just something so primarily satisfying with making something with your hands, and doing so for a great cause makes it even more worthwhile. Uh, additionally, these are just some of the nicest people that I've ever had the pleasure of working with in my entire life. Ultimately, uh, working with Habitat for Humanity has just been everything that I had hoped for, uh, and I'm proud to be now a participant in the fight against homelessness.